At WrestleMania 14, Major League Baseball legend Pete Rose never. Rose suddenly decided that he wanted to play heel by reminding the Boston crowd of his victory over their home team in the 1975 World Series. Cincinnati had won the World Championship, beating the Boston Red Sox 4-3. Shortly after, Kane came out of the ring and delivered a wicked tombstone to Rose. Rose's rivalry with Kane became a running gag in the following years, as he tried to get revenge on Kane at WrestleMania 15 while dressed as a chicken. Another tombstone to Pete Rose! Why Kane had it out for Pete Rose all this time is a mystery, but maybe it was to do with Kane and Pete Rose's team sharing the same nickname, the Big Red Machine. Or perhaps, as Kane put it, for reasons never quite explained, I have an unhealthy obsession with torturing Pete Rose. During an episode of SmackDown in Madison Square Garden in September 2021, NBA Atlanta Hawks star Trey Young was introduced by Sami Zayn as his special guest and the New York crowd really weren't happy to see him to say the least. This was because Young led the Atlanta Hawks to victory past the crowd's hometown team, the New York Knicks, in the first round of the 2021 NBA playoffs. Like a true heel, Young taunted the nuclear crowd and even got physical during the 10-man tag team match that was going on, causing him to be ejected from ringside, much to the crowd's delight. So caught Trey Young and he, he's gonna send the Atlanta Hawks Guard back to the locker room! When asked about his whole WWE experience, Young concluded with this. I'ma see you in Atlanta. In 2006, backup dancer turned rapper Kevin yeah, Federline, aka K-Fed, was in the midst of a messy breakup with the princess of pop, Britney Spears. So, when he made a surprise appearance on Raw less than a month before divorcing Britney Spears, this did not sit well with fans. Finline worked the crowd before being interrupted and schooled by the then WWE Champion, John Cena. And if K-Fed wasn't around, I'd be spearing Britney. To K-Fed's credit, he was a natural heel who garnered genuine heat from the fans. The guy was hated that much that he got Cena over with the fans. On New Year's Day in 2007, Fedeline pulled off a shock victory over John Cena in a no-DQ match they had together, but all thanks to a little help, of course. No Way Out 2008, one of the greatest boxers of all time, Floyd Money Mayweather Jr. saved Rey Mysterio from the Big Show by jumping the barricade and breaking the Big Show's nose before running for his dear life. Despite his heroic act, Mayweather was rejected by the WWE fans, probably due to his cocky persona outside of the ring, causing him to become the bad guy in the whole feud. At WrestleMania 24, Mayweather overcame the massive size disadvantage by defeating The Big Show, albeit with the help of some brass knuckles that he used to knock The Big Show out. Following this, Mayweather returned to the WWE in 2009, but as a guest host for Raw, and was involved in a backstage segment with Vince McMahon. Getting right, busy. Left, funny. Right, left. That gives right, me more left. time to get busy with your daughter. Ooh. Now that was cool. During the red carpet premiere for the trailer of Sami Zayn's conspiracy documentary on SmackDown, none other than YouTube sensation Logan Paul came out to the ring as Sami Zayn's guest of honor. Paul once again joined Zayn as his guest, but this time at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania, coming out to a chorus of boos before eating a stunner from Kevin Owens by the end of it all.
Following WrestleMania 38, Logan Paul returned to SmackDown as an uninvited guest on the KO show, aligning himself with Happy Corbin and turning heel in the process. Not that he was one already. It's so good to see you two! After a heated exchange between Paul and Owens, Happy Corbin intervened, leaving Owens lying flat on his back, prompting Paul to say this. You're not that guy, pal. You're, You're not, not that, that guy. guy.